everyone. I am Carol and I'm working as a project coordinator in Peace Channel. Um, today I would like to share something about dialogue. Dialogue is one of the most important principle of Peace Channel. Um, it is also one of the most effective principle of peace building that Peace Channel practices. Uh, it has a lot of impact on different individual um, talking about different levels that is the first one is individual level so when we talk about individual level it comes to uh, personal issues being settled by individual in the institutions communities and also religious institution as well uh, the other level we can talk about is educational level where are the quality peace club and the peer mediators from the colleges are initiating in resolving their conflict. Third level we can talk about is community level. So when we talk about community level, it is the religious leaders, the community leaders who are formed into an organized group which is named as the district peace group. So they are the individual who are being trained and capacitated to solve their own personal issues, the societal issues where they initiate to solve conflict in a non-violent way. When we talk about dialogue, it is a conversation between two or more individuals. Um, it is bringing differences to a table and conversing the differences, accepting and respecting one another. It is a facilitated and structured conversation. When we talk about dialogue, we initiate and facilitate dialogue by setting certain ground rules. Um, dialogue mainly focuses on relationship building and creating a safe space to accept the differences and solve out issues in a non-violent way. When I talk about dialogue, it has a lot of uh, positive impact in my personal life. Talking about dialogue, it has helped me in resolving my personal issues non-violently, not being judgmental, listening to people to learn accepting and respecting the differences so i regret the bygone days when i was not aware of what dialogue is all about it was way back in 2014 when i got into a conflict with my mother um, it was because of the likes and dislikes the differences that we had in our likes and dislikes um, it has gradually led into a, a conflict which we failed to settle. We started avoiding each other um, and that has really hampered our relationship. It has um, extended over a week and um, it may sound silly, but it was difficult for me to cope, cope up with. Um, it is really difficult to keep a space or, and you know, avoid away from the person that you love the most. And it has really um, disturbed me and I felt to solve it out. It was like prior to what that before I even knew what dialogue was, I often opted for avoidance as one of the conflict handling styles. Uh, and I hope that avoiding space with my mother is going to help me out in solving my issue with her. But it did not help me. Um, at any point. It was like dreaming uh, for a miracle to happen overnight to solve your problems, but it did not work out. So having known, uh, getting known to what uh, peace building skills and tools are, dialogue is one of the most, um, most commonly used tool that I have applied in my personal life and it has helped me a lot. And I should say over these years, because of this so-called dialogue, it has helped me in accepting the differences, um, look, uh, enhancing the confidence and um, trying to build up trust in people, um, creating a better relationship with them. And that's how I'm coping up with every uh, single conflict that I come across with, with people and resolving it uh, non-violently. So with the limited information and experience that I have on dialogue, I would like to encourage everyone to resolve their own conflict by initiating dialogue in their personal life. 
And yeah, to conclude, we would like to quote a lines of Mahatma Gandhi, which says, "An eye for an eye will only make the world blind." So, encouraging everyone to initiate dialogue in their personal life and solve issues non-violently. Thank you.